Hey, what's going on, Brookstone Nation? Um, got this assignment to go over what are the main pillars in my business. Um, and when I think of pillars, I know it's going to be a little bit different than kind of what other people are looking at, but I'm looking at mostly what are my lead sources and what am I doing for those lead sources. And all of my business as of now, um, I run kind of a lean operation. All my expenses per month are under $1,000, so I'm not spending a lot of marketing dollars as of now. I know in the future I do want to make that change where you know I'm starting to spend more money to get business. But everything I'm going to go over today, under $1,000, um, and that includes you know the Brookstone fee, the board fees, and whatnot. Um, it's mostly, you know, I'm just going to work and bringing my business. Um, so to get started, number one, um, my main where I get the most of my business is for sale by owners. Um, if you've went through Brandon's um, FISBO domination course, I pretty much run that verbatim. Um, you know, I get once a new FISBO comes in, I give them a call. After I talk to them, I make that decision. You know, are they a lead? Are they not a lead? If they become a lead at that point, um, I call them every Monday. I put them on a banner season drip campaign, which is about six postcards um, over six weeks. They cost about 37 cents a piece to send, so it's about $2.22 for every time I get a FISBO lead. Um, and then on Wednesday, they get my weekly database email. On Thursday, I reset my targeting campaigns on Facebook, and then on Friday, they get a text. Um, so it's pretty basic. On top of that, I might visit some open houses on the weekend for sale by owner open houses, um, an opportunity to get face to face with a few more. Um, but that's typically bringing me about, you know, a couple of listings, couple sales each month. And that's um, pretty much my biggest source uh, over the past six months. Now, the second pillar that I use is expired listings. Um, so again, for us in Brookstone, we're able to get all of these leads for free. Um, they offer the Vortex Red X leads, which I think are great. Um, so I'll take those each morning, sign in the Vortex, export, put them in the Mojo Dollar. Mojo Dollar cost me about $150 a month for the three, three line dialer and the CRM. Um, but for expireds, it's pretty much the same thing. I, I call and leave a voicemail for every single expired that hasn't went back on the market um, going 10 weeks back. And once, you know, and when I get in conversation with them, I'm making that same decision. Are they a lead? Are they not a lead? And if they are a lead, I follow this exact same for sale by owner follow up for the expired. So I'm calling them. You know, no matter what they say, they're waiting three months, five months, next week. Um, I kind of put them in that same where I'm calling them every Monday, mailer every Tuesday. Well, banner season kind of auto sets that. So mailer a week, email Wednesday, retarget ad Thursday, um, and then a text on Friday. And then, you know, I'm really just trying to get face to face, offering to share with them more information um, if we can get together. Now, those two are probably my get now business. Um, you know, a lot more aggressive because those people have already showed interest that they do want to sell, um, just haven't been successful up to this point. So moving on to my little bit longer term leads, and we're going to be looking at absentee owners. Um, so for absentee owners, those lists are um, given to us free as well. Um, I've personally bought updated lists through the share group um, for about 10,000 numbers. Um, it was like six, $700. So I bought them for a few different um, counties. Um, but for those, I'm calling through, you know, using the absentee script. And once I talk to them and they say, you know, it qualifies as a lead, from that point, um, I run a, a CMA market evaluation, send it over to them. The next day, give them a call. Um, a lot of times they have renters in them, so it's not really a good opportunity to sell. Um, but my follow-up system from there, every first of the month, 
I send a mass text um, to all of them. And right now I got about six, 700 of them um, that I've talked to and send that CMA. So I send the uh, mass, or mass text the first of the month to every absentee. Um, and then I call each one every single month. And if they don't answer, leave a voicemail. And then I also set a follow up for whenever that lease is done, because that's going to be the best opportunity um, if the tenant doesn't continue renting out the place for them to sell. Um, and then they also get my weekly email as well. And in the past, I've done a lot of circle dialing. So I do have a database of about 500. That's a very similar follow up system to absentee owners where I send them a mass text the first of the month call them every single month with a voicemail. And, um, you know, it's basically the same thing. They get my weekly email. Um, so those are really what I consider my four main lead sources. Um, and then, you know, a few other things that I do in terms of marketing. Um, like I said, I haven't spent much money into it and I am looking at other options, you know, what might be the best thing to jump into. Um, so right now, you know, I just make, you know, kind of a, a video a week. I send it with my, uh, weekly email and that's about it. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then of course the weekly email, I know I've got probably about two 2,500 emails so far. Um, just from everybody I talk to, I always collect their email, always stay on top of mind with that. Um, so those are my main, you know, lead pillars. And the biggest thing I think for each lead pillar to consider is tracking, you know, and I think there's three main conversions that you want to track. The first one is the amount of contacts to appointment. So for me, I probably make more, you know, a higher contact to appointment. And I know this is, pre this is something I definitely do need to get better at getting in front of people. Um, for me, it's taken about 60 contacts for every appointment. Um, so I'll typically make, you know, 40, 50, 60 a day. So I might set, you know, a little bit less than one a day, you know, maybe four uh, appointments a week. From there, you want to track your appointment went on to appointment conversion. Um, so for me, again, I'm around that 60% mark. Um, and then also the listings that go live to the listings that sell. Um, so pretty much everything I went over, it's almost 100% prospecting based right now. Um, not to say that's right or wrong. I think eventually it's going to turn into, you know, the number of contacts to, you know, appointments to like the dollars spent to appointments. And then, you know, how much money did I spend to get a listing and how much money am I spending to get a closing? I think that's where I want to be. But for right now, um, it's really that prospecting based where, you know, you're tracking those three numbers. So I hope this helped you, my four pillars, and I hope you guys have a great one.